going on? What? What the hell? What the hell just? What the hell just happened? What the hell? Welcome to your vape at five. I'm your host. I, am Black Cat. It third third time. This third time we're doing. Shy Tots week. I'm fucking the, the, the screams at the beginning. The screams at the beginning were out of complete, uh, just absolute staticness. Static? <laughs> Staticity static? I am through to the moon. It is Shy Tots Week. Welcome, everyone. Glad you are here. We're going to have a fantastic week. Now, first, Shy Tots Week is only going to be three days. You're asking, why is it three days? Well, I'm going to be on the road again starting on Thursday and Friday. And Saturday and Sunday. So, I will not be available to do it. But now, I, I, I don't panic, Clinton. Tim, don't panic. I'll be back safe and sound on Monday to get back into the flow of things, get right back in to another week. The Vape at Five. We have, I got a fantastic show for you. I've got a show that you will not believe. You, you will not believe your eyes. You may, I want you now. I want you to rub your eyes. I want you to get, if you need Visine, get some Visine, clear them, because what you're going to see in this show is going to astound you. Thanks for everybody. Thanks everybody for joining today. It's it's Monday. It's a new week. It's uh, it, you know, it, it's a fantastic, fantastic week. Getting ready for had a great weekend. Buckeyes won. That was fantastic. Um, Got some uh, got some vape mail that I, I haven't opened yet. I waited. I waited. Suffered through the post office. I don't know if you saw that. Now, the stuff I talk about, right, what I'm going to talk about for a few minutes is about the Facebook group. If you're not a member of the Facebook group, you're missing out because it literally is the greatest Facebook group probably in the creation. I, talk, I, I told you. <laughs> I spoke as the greatest coil builder in the universe. Gives me privilege to speak to whoever I want to. I can speak to President Trump if I wanted to. I just don't want to. I spoke to Mark Zuckerberg about the group. He was astounded by the group. He said it was the best group he'd ever seen. And I told him I know this because I, the creator of the group. And uh, so, yeah, that's why it's the greatest. So, Mark, he wants you to join. He told me to tell you, Mike Kim, to join the Facebook group as soon as possible. If you join, you will know what I'm talking about in the next two. So, Saturday, I spent like an hour at the post office trying to send. Now we're getting into the holiday. So, holiday, holiday sending, holiday postage at the post office is fucking atrocious. It's ridiculous because everybody and their brother is trying to send shit. So, I don't know if I'm going to discontinue like a couple weeks of giveaways just because I don't want to go to the fucking post office, but we'll see. The second thing I want to talk about, I put a, the reason I bring that up is I put a picture of that on the Facebook group. You guys see. The second thing I want to bring up is something that my wife posted today. Facebook group. <laughs> this is an official Black Cat Wife Face shirt. It looks a little peculiar. Oh, what's that? Hold on a minute. What's going on here? What is that? Hello. Looky there. Well, you're asking how could that have happened to a Black Cat Wife Face shirt? I don't know. I'm, I'm telling you. Typically, I have my my laundry service come and take all the black cat gear, have it dry cleaned, pressed, and brought back as quickly as possible. My wife decided to do the laundry, and where you put the softener, the fabric softener, she thought that was for bleach. So, <laughs> what? Like it's, <laughs> she, she does laundry all the time. I don't know what the fuck happened. Like, is this your first time using a, using a washing machine, ma'am? She put bleach in, so you have to ask her about that, why she did that. I don't know. She told me about it. She's like, hey, I, I think I messed up. I'm like, you do? She's like, yeah. She's like, I put uh, bleach in the little uh, cup thing. I was in the cup thing. What cup thing? She said, in the, in the washer. Oh, okay. I said, well, that's for fabric softener, hon. Oh, well, I put bleach in there. I said, okay, well, at least you're doing whites. Well, no, I'm not doing whites. I'm doing colors. I was like, really? Well, that's not going to work too well because now the bleach – is going all over those colors. Well, so this is a collector's item. This is a one of a kind, pre-worn. I've already worn it. So you will get, you know, the black cat DNA on it. 
And it's tie-dye. It is a tie-dye black cat, white face shirt. That could be up for a giveaway. Who knows? Free more. <laughs> All right, guys. I was like, really? You did that? She's like, yeah, I don't know why I did that. I was like, I don't either. Let's start it out. Got a little something for you. I got two items of vape mail. Nothing. To, well, one of them I find I think is very exciting. Uh, actually, both of them I think are exciting. Nothing. Not products. The first one is from uh, Coil Society. So this is something from Coil Society. It's only one spool, um, but it's more of a tester to see what this is all about. So as you know, Coil Society had a fantastic. Now, Jeff, if you're watching from Coil Society. You owe me a fucking discount because I promote the shit out of you. So you should be giving me a discount, sir. Just kidding. Kind of. But Coil Society had a huge sale over Thanksgiving. Black Friday sale. I think it was like 20 or 25% off, um, which they never have sales. So it was a really, really nice sale. Well, what they also did was they just started with... Oh, whoops. Is the, let me get this up here so you guys can see. The uh, label isn't fully on here, so let me get that on there. They just started with Nichrome 90. So, Coil Society now has Nichrome 90. Very fairly priced. Uh, with the sale, let me see. With the sale, I got 200 feet of 27, and including shipping, because I didn't buy anything else. I just wanted some Nichrome 90 to test it out. And I paid $17.00 and 95 cents including shipping for 200 feet. So I think that's pretty good. I think you can get 100 feet for about the same price from KB on um, eBay. So this is a good price. So here we go, we got some 27 gauge Nichrome 90. Um, you know what, I'm not gonna mess with it now, but I mean, Coil Society wire is always fantastic. So I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna be very happy with it. So we'll just put this over there. And I think tomorrow I'll do, maybe I'll do some Nikram 94 cores or something tomorrow uh, for a giveaway. The second item I got is from the Vapor DNA. Now I paid for this. This is an item that I'm going to review. Um, a couple things about this item that, I, that I'm very excited about. So let's open this up here. And I will show you. I got a great deal on this item. Great deal. So I only bought two things on uh, during Black Friday, but these these are the two that I bought. So I got. Oh Lord, what's this here? A little a little vapor DNA. Happy holiday sticker. Put that to the side. My customary vapor DNA towel that I like have. I probably have like fifty of those because I always use vapor DNA. All right. I paid twenty six dollars for this item out the door and it is the rebirth rda by mike vapes and hell vape so hell vape as you know is uh who made with heathen made the dead rabbit and uh i am going to wick this up and i'm also going to review it so if we get time today i'll go through and uh i'll wick it up and i'll take it upstairs and clean it but uh yeah so i'm excited i'm excited to try i've heard so many good things about this rda um, I've never owned a product that was uh, designed by Mike Vapes. Uh, this is the first one, so I, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a, be a be a good one to uh, give a shot. I'd never got a recurve, and I probably should have. And I quite frankly, I, I know there's probably ten times that I had one in my cart, and I just didn't complete the order for whatever reason. But uh, yeah, so there you go, little recurve action. All right, so today we are going to feature a gentleman who is on the Shy Tots build team. It is Space Coils, Daniel. Now, if you don't know Daniel, Daniel is uh, really one of the most influential um, creative builders there is. And I just absolutely love the guy. He's such a friendly, nice guy. I, I did not know him. I knew of him because of his builds are so original and you, everybody knows Space Coils. Everybody in the building game knows Space Coils. If you, if you build it all and you follow builders, you know who he is. And... Uh, 
So I didn't really know him until we started doing the shy toss thing and I started talking with him. Just a super friendly guy. And one thing, Jane's like, yeah, he's a super cool guy, da, da, da. So I uh, had a, a few opportunities to uh, to talk to him and uh, just, a, just a great guy. So I told him today, I was like, uh, yeah, man, you know. I talked to Jane. Jane's like, well, we're going to feature, you want to feature spa space coils? I was like, yeah. Because I always wanted to do one of her builders because she has such, she has the best builders, you know, in the game. And, uh, you know, I was like, yeah, you know, I'd like to feature one. She's like, why don't you do Daniel? Uh, I said, we don't have his coils, but I'm going to give away two 50 mils of his juice as a giveaway. So when you repost this week with uh, Space Coils, Daniel's page, which is a link is below, you're going to, if you win, you're going to get two, uh, six, two 50 mils of the spaced juice. So very, very exciting. All right. So without further ado, what time is it? Oh, I almost went to 15. I try to, you know me and my schedule, I try to schedule it to 5.15 and then do like 25 minutes and then maybe I have enough time to wick that RDA and because um, I already have some coils made. I actually did some building this weekend, which I hadn't done in a while. One thing I wanted to mention, I don't, everything that, uh, I everything that I get for this making, like making coils or any money that people donate into the super chat or anything goes right back into the channel. Um, I don't have like a Patreon where I ask for money or things like that. And really, if people want to do super chat, that's fine, but it's not required. And if, if you do it, you do it. And I certainly appreciate it, but I don't expect it. It's just added. And then when that money comes in, I separate it and I use it for like my microphone, my new camera, my, you know, um, upgrades on my computer and things of that nature. The... What the one thing that I do fund strictly for the channel is instead of asking for money doing Patreon and things like that, I do the Black Cat Care Package. Well, the Black Cat Care Package is a great value because you get a shirt, a towel, and three sets of custom coils. Basically, you tell me what metals and what ohm level you want, and I will make them up for you and send them out. And I mean, you know, I'll do aliens, interlocks, sukas. Anything where I don't have to, anything that I don't have to actually fuse anything, I'll do. Like, I'm not, I'm just not fusing. I mean, if you want to staple stack if you clapped in, maybe I'd do one if I had time. But I charge 50 bucks for that. It's a great deal. I typically give you some extra coils in it, you know. Just a couple, throw a couple extra in there for you. And then I take that money and put it right back into the show. The reason I mention that is I just finished my last order for it. So I'm open again. This week will be tough, but if you put your order in this week, I will have it out to you next week. So if you want a Black Cat Care Package, contact me on the Instagrams, uh, or you can email me at blackcatwhiteface1 at gmail.com. All right, so it's got driving with that Black Cat buddy, yeah. <laughs> driving to Bentley. I show up like, uh, what would you do with that Black Cat buddy? Nothing. Is that a new car? No. It's not a Bentley. This is a Chrysler. It just has a Bentley ornament. Yeah, it's not a Bentley. It looks like a Bentley. It's got leather interior. No, it doesn't. That's velvet. It's not, it's not a Bentley. <laughs> hey, Jane, there she is. Jane, as you know. Now, the history of Shy Tots and the history of Jane and I, um, it's something I always bring up. It's, it, and the reason I bring it up is because I just, I just love her to death, and she knows that. And um, I met Jane. I, I started doing live shows, and I, and I tell the story every time. So if you've heard it, forgive me. But this is her week, so I talk about her. And um, I met Jane when I first started doing live shows, and that was about, that was the end of last year. The end of last year, I started doing live shows on IG, and uh, I was just doing builds, and I wasn't any good at it. I mean, I was pretty good at building, but I wasn't really good at the live shows. <laughs> I would just sit there and build and talk and not saying I'm good at the live shows now but at least I have some experience I mean I've got almost 200 shows now so I've at least got some experience and um Jane when I started doing it uh you know I'd get like maybe four or five people would come in and watch me and that was about it and uh as as I kept doing it uh Jane must have noticed me and she started coming in and once Jane came in that's when I, I feel like her being there really gave like some le le legitimacy to what I was doing because she's so well respected in the community of builders that people are like, oh, if Jane's here, the guy must know what he's doing. And uh, so, I, so that that's really what, you know, she was a huge catalyst in the beginning for me, like actually like, you know, pretty soon I would have like 15, 20, 25 people. Like it got really big. And that then's when I went to YouTube. I was like, well, I'm just gonna do it on YouTube now, you know, it'd be easier. And uh, cause then I could like, you know, it's just easier on YouTube than it, cause you can save them and things like that. But uh, so she was a huge catalyst. So, when I started doing the, the the show, you know, I wanted her involved, and she would never do YouTube. She's like, I don't do YouTube. 
I was like, you don't need to. She's like, no. I was like, why? She said, well, I just don't like it. You know, she doesn't talk like that at all. But she, you know, she's like, I just don't like YouTube. I was like, okay. So anyway, I finally talked her into doing it. And now you see she shows up pretty much every day and supports me. And so, you know, Jane, I love you. And thank you for supporting me. She just recently got married. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I just got back from her honeymoon. So congratulations. Uh, he is a very lucky man, that is for certain. And I wish you happiness. All right, so now we're going to move on to, I got my new Shy Tots shirt. I got a Shy Tots hat. I got a Shy Tots hat, but my it looks awful on my head. My head's so big. It looks awful. Uh, I think I've, I've been trying to wear it. Jay, I've been trying to wear it and break it in. I've been trying, but it still looks really bad. Like, it's because I have this, this huge head. This huge head that, like, certain hats just, you know, they look terrible on my head. <laughs> Trying to break it in, though. By the next Shy Tots week, I'll probably have it broken in because I pretty much wear it every night. My wife says it looks like a trucker hat. And I was like, you goddamn right it does. Fucking awesome. But I do have the Shy Tots shirt, which I love. And I, I nicely, partially clean. No bleach. No bleach on this one. I did this one myself. So there's no bleach. No bleach was put into the softener spout. All right. So Daniel uh, spaced coils now if you know anything about building as i mentioned you know daniel daniel is he's one of the best and and i think that for us builders daniel was really the genesis of more of an abstract style of building not sticking with just the uh traditional type builds he went out he thought out of the box and he would look at an rda um Whereas somebody like me, I look at an RDA for performance. I look at where I can put the coils and things like that to get the most performance. Daniel looks at an RDA more so like a canvas. Like what can he build or what can he put in there to accentuate the build and the RDA. And he really brings a, an entirely new style to uh, coil building. In my opinion, he's one of the most influential coil builders there is. Because a lot of people now have really... I wouldn't say they copy his style because there's, there, you know, we're not copying, but they're influenced by it. They enjoy what he does, and then they try to put their twist on his style of building. So the things you're going to see today aren't, well, he has a lot. And that's the thing. Daniel has a lot of traditional builds on his page. I mean, the guy can do anything he wants to do. That's not, that's not what the question. The guy's photography is absolutely fantastic. He's another one of these guys that really took his photography to the next level. And I really put him in the category of, uh, you know, there's guys like uh, Harold, who's also, there's guys like Yui, you know, Mindforge. Then you have, you know, guys like uh, Matt Massey, and who, Matt Massey was a huge influence for me, helping me learn how to, Nick Wiggins, uh, Coil Chief, and you and, and these guys who really, uh, re, um, God, oh, why am I, I know I'm forgetting a ton, Vapor Eye. You know, all these guys with these this magical photography, got a lot of guys that I've featured. Um, Space Coils was really, as far as I know, and correct me if I'm wrong, anybody who would, would say different, but he's really one of the first guys who did that. Um, he's one of the really the first guys I can recall who really took his photography to the next level, which everybody else was like, fuck, we got to start up in our game. And, you know, I'm not saying he was the first, but I'm going to say that he certainly was in that first group that did it. So... We're going to take a look at Space Coils today. I'm super, super excited to show you. If you've never seen his page or anything that he does, um, you're really, really in for a treat. And, and, and uh, I'm really excited to show you. So let's go ahead. Let me get the bring you on to the laptop here. Oh, another thing. Before I go, I figured out why my computer. Uh, I took an update for, uh, for OBS. And right when I took the update, so I realized when my, when my computer started slowing down a couple weeks ago and I started freezing in frame and things like that, I realized, well, wait a minute. What, the first thing you think is, what did I do? What am I doing differently? What's going on differently? Because my, my change, the amount of output I'm getting is the same. My, my wireless connection is the same. What it is, is the OBS uh, update I took has taken up like almost 60% of the memory on my computer. Yeah. So I've got to, I've got to figure out a way to compress that. One thing I can do is, is if I use a LAN and not use the uh, 80, 80255 connection, wireless connection, which takes up like 20% of my, of my CPU, then it will knock off 20% and free up more space to do other things. So that's one thing I got to do um, is I'm going to have to run a wire down. I'm going to have to get either get a wireless router and run it into here. Or I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to have to do something 
because running it off of uh, that 802 connection is just not working. All right, neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and bring it to the laptop. Oh Lord, hello. <laughs> All right, here we go. There is Mr. Space Coil. Let me get my chat back up here so I can randomly look over at you guys. All right, Daniel, he has uh, 14,100 followers. Um, just an absolute monster in the game. There, he, he does these pictures where he, uh, let me turn this off. Every time I, every time I try to do this, I start getting uh, paid for work. So freaking annoying. Go ahead and turn that off. One thing I do want to mention, for anybody watching, Make sure you stick around because we have a Shy Tots giveaway before the end of the show. I'm giving away 350 mils before the end of the show today. Or more. I have to check exactly. Let me actually let me grab her box. I should have done this before the show. This box right here is dedicated to Shy Tots. So everything she's ever sent me is in, oh my god, no. Oh my God, not 350 mils, 550 mils, 550 mils. I will show that as soon as we are done. There'll be a trivia question for that giveaway. So 550 mils of Shy Tots juice. That's fucking crazy. All right, so Space Coils, uh, got almost uh, 1,700 posts. So here we go. So here you start seeing exactly what he's about. Let's take a look at this macro. This is a dual fused helix. Look at that picture. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. He, um, I mean, you can see the, the, you can actually see the, the texture of the metal that he used and everything. And that is probably 40 gauge fuse. So think of the magnification that he is using on that and how crystal clear it comes in. You can actually see the direct color and the spots on the metal. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna scroll down. As I'm scrolling down, just kind of gander at some of his photography. It's absolutely gorgeous. And we're gonna get down a little lower. Oh, there's some Jubster coils. That was another builder that we featured. Keep going. All right, here's something very impressive. So, what you are looking at here is a corrugated pitchfork. Um, this is a with ribbon frames. The significance of using rib ribbon frames, it's a dual fuse as well. The significance of using ribbon frames is that ribbon does, the ribbon frames does not allow your fuses to move. So, you have to be extremely skilled to use any ribbon frames on fusing. His first fuse, so he's got a double staggered, four, four pieces of ribbon on either side as his frames. Inside of that is two pieces of ribbon, and you can see how clear his pictures are. I mean, this isn't, I'm not guessing at anything on this build. I can tell you exactly because I can see everything. I mean, the magnification and the clarity of the shot is just absolutely gorgeous. Inside that, he has two pieces of ribbon, a corrugated piece, and then two pieces of ribbon on the other side. So the corrugated piece is framed by two pieces of ribbon on either side. He then reframes that, which makes his pitchfork with the ribbon frames and the two pieces of ribbon. So in this build total, we're looking at eight, 16, 17 pieces of ribbon. That is in the Layer Cake RDA. You'll see a lot of the Layer Cake RDA. Uh, Mine Forge uses it quite a bit. And of course, so does uh, Daniel. This is a really interesting build, Cor incorporating mesh. And I'm gonna guess that that is, I'm gonna guess it's, I, I don't know for sure, but maybe that's copper. Again, these are one of these very abstract builds that may not be vapable, but is absolutely beautiful. Let's take a top down look at that. Look at the color of that and the beauty. And that just absolutely, so he has corrugated mesh coil framed in with another piece of mesh and another piece of corrugated around it, another piece of mesh. And then 
I want to say that's copper, but I don't know for sure what metal that is, that, that giant gauge metal. Probably 20 gauge That's what I'm guessing. Here's another shot of it. This is the kind of stuff that uh, Spaced Coils does. Just this unbelievable stuff I would never, ever think about. And I don't even know what that even... It, it almost looks like a filter or something. You get like an oil filter or something. Pretty cool looking. Orbital is what he's called it. The orbital. Very cool. Oh, there's some, I don't know what that is. Banned! You're gonna get my, you're gonna get my YouTube station banned, sir! All right, here's another one incorporating mesh and I'm gonna guess it's copper, but I don't know for sure. What's the green stuff? <laughs> We're not talking about that, Steven. Point oh 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 one, Kim. You're goddamn right. All right, here's another one. I'm going to guess that's copper, but just look at the detail in this. You have these flat pieces. And this stuff to me is just amazing. These flat pieces of mesh with a corrugated in the middle, almost like a sandwiched in, right? With, I would guess that's probably 28 gauge, maybe? Framing it in kind of like you would see in a uh, like a coil on um, a power grid, and then this large I don't know if that's 20 gauge or 18 gauge piece of copper I'm guessing power station yeah uh yeah probably Charlie who did the power station yeah hey Jen how are you on oh I didn't say hi to everybody sorry guys I'll say hi as I see you guys roll by so excited you guys get to see all these builds. Here's another one. Uh, Charlie, I'll say this. If he wasn't, um, if he didn't do the power station build, then uh, he certainly influenced it. That's for sure. Another shot of that build. And here's just something. I believe this is, how many cores is this? We're looking at three, six. I've got eight. Eight core stagger fuse Clampton. That is in the Hermetic. Beautiful install. Absolutely beautiful picture. I mean, just as crystal clear as you can make it. Now, I've never seen this in a ceramic uh, post. But if you look close enough here, at this, on the ceramic post, you can actually see the reflection of the coil in the ceramic. And I can't remember ever seeing that before. So that is absolutely fantastic. Another more traditional build. This is a st staple stagger fuse clapped in variation, all ribbon again. Uh, the outside is two pieces of ribbon on the inside. He staggered, and I'm going to guess that's 40. I'm going to guess it's 42. That would be my guess. I don't know for sure. Um, on the inside, he staggered, and his first fuse was across eight pieces of ribbon. His second fuse brought in the frames, which is the two pieces. Just absolutely gorgeous. Look at the colors on that and the contrast against the cotton. Just absolutely beautiful. I believe that is in the Goon 25. Yeah, 528 Customs. Yeah, it's a Goon. Another just absolutely original. Um, I, yeah, he's got uh, something uh, representing a diamond here. This some sort of uh, crafting bead. Uh, looks like maybe 24 gauge. And this... Uh, twisting type and let me tell you getting it to bend that cleanly like that is just absolutely amazing to me I, I thought about when I first seen it and I, I was like well maybe you know he he heats the metal so that it gets soft enough where he can bend it any way he wants it but quite frankly I don't know exactly how he does it I really really do not know exactly how he does it but man it sure turns out cool let's look at this, this is a wick shot here I just look at everything of how beautiful that picture is. I mean, the cotton is perfect. The colors on it are perfect. It's just, I mean, it's just absolutely perfect. Obviously, it's not vapable, but that is just absolutely beautiful. That's that same stagger build. I'm going to keep going because he's got so many great things to blow. Is this the same one? I believe that is, yeah, in the layer cake. So that's the same one. That's a wick shot of the one we looked earlier. Here's a nice macro of it. 
nice macro of the uh, corrugated pitchfork that he did. That ribbon in there is, I'm going to guess it's 0.3 is what my guess would be. And um, it almost looks like it's like six feet wide. Like, I mean, it's just amazing the macro shots that uh, Daniel gets. Just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Here we go. This is interesting. So this is a Staples Tiger Fuse Clapton variation. Uh, start out, I actually, I've done this build. Uh, not near as good as he did, but I, I've done it. Um, so he did a dual spacing on, did his first Staples Tiger Fuse Clapton with just four pieces of ribbon in between. He then cut that in half and used those as the frames, leaving a, you know, he skip fused it all the way down. Then he put four pieces of ribbon in between those two, framed them back up with the two that he already made. And then his final fuse goes all the way across. Things to look for on this. First down, look at how clear everything of the picture is. Look how clear the deck is in the background. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. Not a mistake on the entire thing from when it leaves the post all the way around. And anybody who builds knows how fucking difficult that is to not have anything fuck up on the install, to, to look to everything look perfect all the way from the post, and he does it. If you look at how straight his final fuse is, so you can look, if you look at what's coming out of the post on the bottom part of the build, look at how straight his final fuse is all the way across. Now, when you get here and you start twisting it, it's going to appear that the that it's at an angle, but it's not at an angle. It's straight. The angle is coming from the curvature of the bill, of the coil. And you can tell that when you look down here. Look at the spacing on the frames. It's perfect all the way through. Absolutely perfect. This is as close to perfect as you could do this build. It's, it, 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 there's nothing, there, there's not one thing on this that I can look at and say there's anything wrong with it. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Another thing, when you're framing up these two uh, staple stagger fuse claptons on either side, then you're putting ribbon in between it, that ribbon wants to sink down below and pull those two frames up the entire time you're fusing it. So it is a very delicate process and he just absolutely nails it. And all you got to do is get one of those fuses too tight and it will pull that ribbon right down. Let's take a look at his aliens. This is in the TM24. Uh, look at the curve on his alien. A couple five wraps. Got that nice deep curve on his alien. Perfect install. Perfect picture. Just absolutely gorgeous. And, it, and one thing to notice here that I don't know if he did it on purpose, but if you look at the coil, how each on the one closest to us, how each wrap is a little bigger than the one before it or how it's angled so that it looks like it's going upwards. I don't know if he did that on purpose, but that's fucking cool. And knowing him, he probably did. Staple stagger fees clapped in. This looks like a little bigger gauge. This might be 38 gauge. Or maybe it's just how good his photography is. It looks like it. Uh, it looks like we're looking at six six core. Staple stagger fees clapped in. Installed vertically. I forget what RDA then. Oh, that's the... Uh, that's... Uh, oh, shoot. That's uh, Tenacious. That's Stan's RDA, right? <laughs> Scott, I look like you do. You're goddamn right. Yeah, nothing. Just build a little bit. All right, we're going to keep going, and we're going to keep getting down. A little parabolic here. Big, fat parabolic. I, I don't know what ribbon that is. I would assume it's that .8 ribbon. Huge. Parabolic pitchfork. Absolutely gorgeous. Some of us talk, uh, shy tots photography. 
Look at that. I've used that picture before, um, either on Instagram or here. For those who dislike micro coils, there you go. That's about as perfect as it can look. <laughs> I'd assume that's like, I don't even know what gauge that is. Maybe 28, maybe 29. <laughs> A couple of little series build there. Layer cake. All right, let's keep going. Here we go. All right, he did this build. Let me see if I can find him. Here we go. So I'm not even sure what this is. This is like a woven, uh, how'd you do it? I have no fucking clue. It's like a woven cap for this RDA. It's the goon RDA, it appears. And uh, I, I don't know how he did it, but it is just a, it's just magnificent to look at. Here's a little uh, shot with the cap on, how that looks. Look how beautiful that is. You can see the, the machining in the deck the cutout for the airflow. Look at how look how close that picture is. Wow. That is absolutely crazy. Here's another little uh, staggered in variation. Beautiful. That's three uh, fuses there for the first fuse. And then the final fuse is just a larger gauge or smaller gauge wire, larger wire fuse with two round wire on the outside. This is a polished razor hawk or razor hawk enigma. Look at that. Is that a polished razor? I can't tell. And he won't. Oh, these are his coils. Okay. These are uh, GM coils. All right. Very cool. Another helix build. Three core fuse with different wires. So two smaller wires surrounding a larger wire there. Beautiful color, beautiful picture. Again, that's in the Hermetic RDA. We're going to keep going. We're going to get down to some of his more uh, abstract stuff, which is right down here. I was looking at his page today. So I'm just going to keep rolling in. If you want to go back and look, look at this. Double fused helix. Got a helix inside a helix. Took a smaller helix and then framed it again and rehelixed it. How fucking nice macro shot of that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Here we go. I don't know if you call this the Superman coil. Large gate or small gauge wire that's probably a 20 gauge. Again, in the layer cake RDA. Little S in there for Superman. How he does it, I have absolutely no clue, guys. No clue how he does it. If, he, if I knew, I would do it too. That is just absolutely outstanding. This is a really cool build. So, this is uh, that woven cotton on the outside. Almost like a coat on the on the coil. How freaking cool is that? Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? Look at that. Almost looks like one of those old woven hats. You know what I mean? Um, hey, baby, welcome home. Got a here. Sure does. What you make? I'm hungry. I'm not sure what this is. Let's take a look at this. So this is, he fused, okay, I've never seen this. I don't know if anybody else has ever done it, but it looks like he made a pitchfork and he fused cotton into the build. That is freaking insane. Look at the color on this staple stagger fuse Clapton. Jesus. Space Coils is a comedic genius. <laughs> Kent. <laughs> That's awesome. And if you're just looking, all his builds are like pitchforks. They're like all extremely difficult. Here's another picture of that. Woven cotton over top. If anybody knows what that is, I'm not exactly sure. 
what that is. If he wove that himself, I mean, I guess he could have, but I'm not, I'm not sure. It's, it's freaking awesome, whatever it is. All right. So here's something we can look at. First off, look at the clarity of this picture. It's just absolutely outstanding. Look at how tight his fuses are. I mean, it's just insane. Got a, so this is a staggered, staple stagger fuse Clapton very corrugated variation. Um, in the middle, he has a corrugated piece framed with two pieces of ribbon. Framing, the first frame that he does in stagger is staggered pieces of probably four pieces of ribbon. He then takes two very large uh, gauges for the outside. Not very large, but probably it's got to be at least 27. And his final fuse is uh, open on open fuse on the round wire. Things to look at. <laughs> First off, the picture. Secondly, look at how tight his fuses are. I mean, there's no space at all in his fuses. Thirdly, look at the spacing on the round wire. That's extremely difficult with that big of a build. I mean, we're talking about the entire mass of this build before he framed it with the round wire. You're looking at 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 pieces of ribbon with a corrugated piece in the middle. That's like eight more pieces of ribbon. So we're talking about a very large size coil. Then he frames it with that round wire, keeps that fuse perfectly straight. Absolutely amazing. I want to get down to some more of his abstract stuff. You're looking at, as, as I'm scrolling down, just here's another picture, a little Mario guy in there. La Amor. That's a beautiful picture. That's absolutely gorgeous. Look at the bottles are exactly the same height of liquid. I mean, just every fucking detail is perfect. The guy is a master. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's a lost art squirrel feasting on Daniel's head. You never know. Squirrels are ornery. They will bite you. Oh, my God. Just every build. You could stop at every... Okay, let's like take a look at this one. Um... Okay, very large gauge wire, very small gauge wire. That's got to be, I, I would assume that's like 18, maybe 16. That thing looks giant with Clapton's around it, surrounding it. Uh, Fuse Clapton, all twisted up. Beautiful picture. That's absolutely gorgeous. Come on, the guy has so many good builds. Okay, I like this. There's the, uh, so this is a similar build to the one we just looked at, except for the frames are ribbon, two pieces of ribbon on either side open. Then the middle is uh, six pieces of ribbon and then four piece ribbon, pieces of ribbon on either side. Beautiful. Trying to get down to his. Oh Boy OC was number two in the uh, movie Austin Powers. If you did not know, he was number two. Here we go. I think this is a picture I used for the, uh, hey, baby. I'm really disappointed. You don't have your bleach stain shirt on. No, I don't, but I showed it off. My custom uh, tie-dye black cat white face shirt. I was telling them what you did. How? What? Uh, can you explain to uh, the audience here exactly what you did to, uh, to make this masterpiece? Oh yeah. So I switched them over. Oh into boy. The dryer, put my dark clothes in. Yeah. Well, when I pulled the detergent thing out. Yeah. That was her softener, not bleach, and the bleach poured out all over her clothes. Oh jeez. Yes. Well. You think I would have read that it says softener instead of? You know, it's uh, it it, it happens. Yeah. I'm trying. So I, I, they're they're being I'm being told in chat that I'm trying to give it away. I'm the shirt. Sure, it's a custom shirt. It's a pre-worn. 
It's like a, you know how you pay extra for jerseys that were worn during during the games? Well, I'm kind of like that. I, I'm kind of like, you know, it's kind of like buying like a Barry Sanders worn jersey. You know, it's a, it's a, I wore that during the show, during the Vape at Five, the greatest show on the YouTubes. You're looking awfully nice today. I do. I do very much. I do. Ma'am, that is extremely accurate. I do that's like all, me some boobs. That's all you're looking at. <laughs> dimming you. I'm dimming you. I don't know what dimming means. Huh? I see a rubber knot in Scott's future show. <laughs> I don't. So here we go. He, again, incorporating the mesh. He's got a very small gauge wire framing it uh, with a pitchfork and square wire on the outside. This is in another Aug Vape uh, RDA. Gosh, what is this? Uh, shoot, I know what RDA this is. I just can't think of it. Templor. The Templor RDA. All right. What, baby? Are you making spaghetti with it? Well, yeah. Little spaghetti and meatballs for dinner? Yes. You know what I like? I like spaghetti and meatballs a lot. What kind of spaghetti are you making? We know you like some type of balls. I don't know if it's spaghetti and meatballs, but it's some type of balls. What? What kind of what kind of what kind of noodles are you making with it? Whatever kind we have in our pantry. You got angel hair? Yes, I do. Make angel hair with because it. Because I know you're sensitive. To what? Food. No, angel hair just allows me to consume more because they're smaller noodles, so I can consume more <sighs> during one in, in every bite. That is the goal. That's it. Consumption of goodness. How many meatballs you make? A whole crock pot. You did? Yeah. Get on, get in the chat so you can tell everybody's trying to talk to you. Scott, you're a lucky man. You're right, Tony. I am a very lucky man. I have a hot wife who who's a great cook. Funny. Has fantastic personalities, don't you? I'm up here, sir, not here. <laughs> My eyes are up here. Quit looking at me like I'm a piece of meat, Veronica. All right, back here. So, what time is it? All right, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and keep going till the end here. We're gonna keep it going, guys. All right, here's another wick shot of this is the same build as we were looking at earlier. Um, and just again, Veronica says, Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey. 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 Tev kissing. That's right, Jennifer. Kissing major boote. I'm not having lasagna. Oh, you're having lasagna for dinner? Good, Raven. Uh, meatballs sound great, don't they? Personalities, he says. <laughs> What's it about? All right. Again, look at the placement of the cotton here. Just at Master Jedi. He is Master Jedi. That is for sure. I hate to roll through because, quite frankly, ah, oh, look at this. That is just gorgeous. Five core stagger fuse clamped in, uh, paralleled with a round wire. Not sure of the gauge. I would assume 26, maybe 27, 26. And that's just absolutely gorgeous. Got the chamber reducer for single coil and the TM24 Pro. That Ultim chamber reducer, which I love that thing, actually. I love it single coil. I think it vapes fantastically single coil, quite frankly. That's just a beautiful, beautiful shot. The color contrast of the, the stainless, uh, the, you know, stainless metal there, obviously. Not colored against the black deck. That's just gorgeous. How's that for a wick shot? That is what your coil looks like under extreme magnification. That is what you're taking into your lungs. Looks kind of scary. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure what that is. UV protect. <laughs> That's funny. I'm not sure what that is. 
on top of it there. Some sort of filter. She's back. What, what, what'd you forget, beautiful? My phone. Oh, Lord. Like to show heaven to poor <laughs> the real MVP. Average Joe's. There he is. Dodgeball, guys. Oh, here we go. Check this out. Alien uh, wrapped on two jigs. Awesome. That is the rig mod. Are the rig, I forget, uh, 41. Isn't that what it's called? Model 41 RDA that rig put out. You can get a really good deal on those nowadays uh, if you're interested. This is one I was looking at today. I don't know how he did it. I have no clue how he did this. Squid Dude RDA with the post open. Uh, very large gauge, it appears. I assume it's 24, maybe 22. Not 24, probably. And then an interlock uh, kind of spring type coil locked in on that larger gauge or smaller gauge. That's fucking awesome. So awesome. What do you know? The phobia. I'm, I'm, I went back to the phobia RDA. Just to give it another shot, what do you know? It's dripping all over me, or leaking all over me. How about that? Another in that Model 41 RDA. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna go out. And this is what my Rebel does. All right, let's bring it back up top. Hello. Ooh. <laughs> Go back to Babe. That, my friends, <clears throat> is spaced coils. Now, I have a giveaway. Giveaway! You guys ready for a giveaway? That's what you guys are all waiting for. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Space Coils is fucking fantastic. It's an absolute honor, Daniel. I know I've, I joked with him today, and he's like, well, I don't have that many builds on my page anymore. And I was like, ah, don't worry. I was like, you know, I can bullshit. I'll make it up. But I had already looked at his page. I'm like, it's going to be a fucking breeze because there's so many. Literally, I could have, I could have, I've brought up four or five builds and talked about them for 45 minutes to an hour. If I, I had to go fast through it because every build is perfect. And there's so many things, so many intricate details to every one of his builds that you really, it's really not hard at all to talk about his builds. So, first giveaway today. Now, this is the package that I was just talking about. This is Monday. 550 mils of juice. You got some Hasselhoff in there. You got some Mango Passion. You got some Long and Slow. Long and slew. Got some Custard in there. You got some Sinon in there. You got five... 50 mils of juice ready for you to win. Are you guys ready to We're going to have some winners today. Some winners. You guys want to win? It is. That's how we do it on Shy Tots Week. Shy Tots Week is fucking awesome. Jane, I love you. Thank you so much for sponsoring these weeks. It's, it's literally, I have so much fun during these weeks. It's just an absolute blast. All right. So I have some questions for Jane. Jane has a Monday, Tuesday, and a Wednesday question. You have to know something about Jane or about... Her build teams. So, Monday's question has to do with one of the builders on her build team. The builder we're going to be talking about is Taxi Jim. How well do you know Taxi Jim? Well, I hope you know him well. He's a member of the Facebook group, which if you're not, you need to click the link below and become a member of the Facebook group. We're trying to get to 500 members and we're damn close. So be one of the first 500 and you never know what could happen because at 500, there will probably be a fairly large loving giveaway. You never know. There'll be something coming up. And when I do a giveaways, you know, they're crazy. So join the Facebook group. James, Taxi Jim. What? This is the question. I need an answer from everybody. Whoever answers correctly will then move on to the second round. The question for you, what is Taxi Jim's favorite beverage? Go. Specific beverage. Go.
Hey, Freddie, how you doing, man? Frank. Joseph, how you doing? Bill. What's happening, brother? Good to see you guys. Hey, Juan. Not entering, Lou says. Lou probably knows the answer. Lou, you talk to you talk to uh, Jim quite a bit, don't you? Earl Grey, water, red fago. My mom used to drink fago when I was a kid. It's so fucking worst. Ah, oh, it's like a wannabe cream soda. Fucking awful. Oh god, I hated fago. So my mom would get, it was like a diet, it was like the only diet drink. My mom was always on diets when I was a kid, always on diets. I was like the skinniest kid ever, we never ate anything. But she cooked good shit, I shouldn't say that. And of course it goes out again. This fucking, this fucking mod is such a pain in my dick. I give up. I have to put different batteries in it. I can't stand this mod. Oh, I can't stand it. Ah! All right, keep it going. How's it stay here? Keep it going. Keep it going. I'm going to give you two more minutes. One more minute. And I'm calling it. Jane, Jane you're not supposed to tell everybody the fucking answer. I didn't say cool and refreshing. Oh, now here I'll cut. Here come. Wow. Well, here come the right answers. Oh, you know. <laughs> now, I do want to make mention since I got about 80 people here. Listen, the giveaways prizes are not going to go out this week. They're going to go out next Saturday. I, uh, I'm traveling, so I'm not going to have time to get to the post office before I leave on Thursday morning at 6 a.m. So they're going out. Uh, they'll be going out a week from Saturday. So you're going to have to sit, sit and wait a little bit. All right, stop. So the answer stop, is coffee. Those of you who entered coffee as your right answer, I'm going to check. Whoever entered coffee, you have now advanced to the second round. <laughs> so for those of you who entered coffee as the answer, you have to hurry because I have spaghetti upstairs waiting for me. Garlic bread, meatballs. Fucking eat like a fucking savage here in about 10 minutes. I need you to enter a number between 1 and 150. This is only for those who entered coffee as the answer for James's favorite drink. Go. Single malt. There you go. More pages. Fucking job. Jobs. I was in a meeting today. <laughs> in a meeting. And we're going over these new, uh, this, this, these fucking process shit we're doing. And uh, my boss was like, well, he's like, somebody on the team has not been doing the, this part of the process. And I'm sitting there, I'm thinking about it. And I'm like, he's talking about me. So I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm not doing it. I didn't do that. He's like, well, Scott, I wasn't going to call you out. But yes, you're the person I was referring to when I said that somebody wasn't doing the process like yeah he's like is there any reason why and i hand to god i said because i think it's stupid <laughs> he looked at me, he's like well i appreciate your honesty but <laughs> the lady sitting across from me is like like you want me to lie to you and just tell you i forgot it i forgot no i didn't forget it he's like what well, did you the lady, the lady next to me is like well maybe you forgot i'm like i didn't forget you're fucking stupid. I didn't do it. I think it's dumb. I didn't do it. <laughs> that is where, that's where you can, your honesty will probably get me without a job next year. I'll have to be a full-time YouTuber <laughs> with my $6 per month income. <laughs> How do you think it's six bucks? It's like $4 a month income. <laughs> fucking stupid. All right, let me get the random number generator out. Throw a stop in there for me, guys. Throw a stop. All right. Random number generator. We're going to pick a number between 1 and 150. First number is 76. 
Second number is 84, closest to a number without going over. And the third and winning number is 137. 137. All right, let's see who won. Scrolling up. Oh, there's not many entries. Not many entries. 116 is our leader, Frank. 116. I think we got a winner. 126, Mark Pro Vapes. 126, Mark Pro Vapes. We got a winner. Mark Pro Vapes! You are the winner, sir. Thank you, church. You are the winner. Congratulations, Mark Pro Vapes. Did. Now, Mark, did you enter coffee as the answer? Well, I know Frank did. Frank probably entered like six answers. I didn't say he had to answer one, though. All right, hold on. Mark Pro Vapes. I'm looking for you, Mark. Did I miss it? Mark, yep, yeah, put coffee. All right, Mark. Shy Tots Week, first winner. They, they're breaking the cherry of the Shy Tots Week. Is Monday is Mark Pro Vapes. He is a pro vapor, as an I. We have that in common, sir. Congratulations, Mark. Glad you won, man. You hang out quite a bit. Happy for you to win, my man. Well, uh, we're getting you some fantastic e-juice. You're going to absolutely love it. I'm telling you, get ready. I will have this out. Now, as I mentioned, uh, Mark, I'm not sending it out until a week from uh, Saturday. So you're going to have to wait a little bit for it unless you want to meet me in Ohio. If you're in the Ohio area and you'd like to come get it, I would certainly meet you somewhere to give it to you. It's up to you. All right. but uh, So congratulations tonight on the YouTubes. We have a fantastic lineup for you tonight on the YouTubes. You've got Fresh from the Kitchen. You've got Vaping with the Omies, which my Omies, I love those guys, and I always enchanted that show, as with Freshes. And you have Plumes of Hazard. I, I don't typically watch that show, but I hear it's fantastic, and I hope that you guys can jump in there and join. Um, what else? I, I don't think there's anything else. A anything else you guys have for me before I leave, besides telling me that I should not Tell my boss that I didn't want to do something. I could have very easily just been like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't see that. I, I just, uh, my God, did I miss that? Was that me? Did, was that me? Who did that? Did I miss that? Oops. Yeah. I was like, I don't know. You know, sir, you, you are the one who didn't do it, Scott. I was like, yeah, I know. I didn't do it. It's fucking stupid. But, for my defense, I did not fall asleep in that meeting. I was awake the entire time. I've gotten a lot better at that. I've gotten a lot better at not falling asleep in meetings. You guys be proud of me. I pretty much stay up for every meeting now. I don't fall asleep anymore. Well, occasionally. I was getting there. I was getting there today. Near the end of the meeting, my eyes were starting to get real heavy. So I was like, I just can't stay in this. <laughs> Mr. 300 live stream. God dang it, I forgot about it. I got to write him down on my list. Hold on. Let me do that, Voop. I always, I love uh, Mr. 300 does a show um, uh, with, uh, oh, what's the gentleman's name? I always, I always call him Fresh. Foolish. Foolish. And him and uh, uh, the, what's her name? Uh, I just love her, too. She, she, she's uh, another lady. She's on the show. Fucking fantastic. Voop's on there sometimes. Fantastic show. Mr. 300 is the name of his channel. So that's on, I think, at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, Mr. 300. Let me write that down. All right, I got it on my list now, so I won't forget it anymore. <laughs> I always watch it, too. It's always on. I always watch it. Kim. I think Kimberly. Is that her name? Kimberly? The lady on there. I really do. I adore her. She's just great. I'll be on the panel. Voop will be on the panel. Oh, I didn't mention Voop. Thanks for reminding me. Voop has a YouTube channel now. He's had it for a while, but he's starting to do uh, some reviews and things. So if you get a chance, uh, click on his name. Go over and subscribe to his channel. And uh, then you'll be notified when he uh, puts up some new content for you. Got some juice reviews. He already had some up. I watched one yesterday. He does a really good job. Did a great job, Voop. Great job, man. So, yeah, go over there and subscribe to his channel. Lady Louisiana. Gotcha. Mr. 300 Foolish. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. I'm really excited about that. Awesome. Yep. Shy Tots Week is all week, Jan. Shy Tots Week is all week. Uh, well, Tuesday, tomorrow, and Wednesday. There's no Thursday and Friday show this week. 
but we got two giveaways on. So to enter the giveaway for the, uh, I'll show it to you. This is what you're gonna win. Two 50 mils of Spaceman E-Juice. Two 50 mils. To win this, you're going to go to Space Coil's page, find a build that you really, really like, or a picture you really like. He has some really funny stuff on there. And repost it with the hashtag BlackCatFam. Make sure that you put an at sign at Spaced, Man, Spaced Coils so that you're tagging him just to know that we're tagging his work and reposting it. Get a, get a couple up there. Nice. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks, everybody, for joining. I appreciate it. I love you guys. Hope you guys have a fantastic night. Get on the YouTubes and have some fun. And I will see you tomorrow. If you're in recovery, I want you to stay strong. And I promise I will, too. Love you guys. See you tomorrow.